This is Dolan TV, friends. Welcome aboard to what you could consider a post-game edition of the Oilers against the Ottawa Senators. Another hockey game on a weekend out east that leaves us baffled by the performance of our team. This is a team that is second in the Pacific Division, a team that has clawed all the way back from one of the worst starts in a long while, and all of a sudden, two games out east against the Senators and the Toronto Maple Leafs have us asking, is this team in huge trouble? At a time in the season last year where the Oilers were playing their best hockey they may have played in years in the franchise, well, this year it has been uninspired lazy, apathetic, and obviously very terrible to watch as a fan. Another game goes by where the Oilers do enough things right that they should win, but they do so many things wrong that they fail to win. Now they go into a game 6 p.m. on Tuesday night against the Winnipeg Jets, hoping for a better, better result, but that's another top-tier Canadian team like Toronto, like Vancouver, that, hey, are the Oilers going to be able to figure out or are they going to struggle against? Because the way the Edmonton Oilers played this weekend is more so troublesome than we have seen most of this season, unless you date back prior to November, whatever, the 20th, 4th, or whatever it was against the Washington Capitals. So it's absolutely unbelievable that the Oilers have had the kind of bounces this season in their schedule that they have had right a 16 game win streak an eight game win streak eight one and two prior to this weekend and yeah sure i guess technically they're eight three and two in their last well 13 games great that's a great record we'll take that all day but it's the style of play it's the errors being made it's the, the goaltending we're getting it's the uninspired offense right the oilers had 30 plus shots tonight but there was no finish Right, another third period goes by that the Oilers just don't have enough in the tank to win a hockey game. I get that it's the back half of a back-to-back, -back, but you didn't do anything for two periods in Toronto, so why are you tired? You didn't have to fly five hours to get into Ottawa. I don't get where the Oilers this weekend decided to go wrong going into five o'clock on Saturday night. This is frustrating. This is very angry. Uh, to watch from the Oilers. It's just a all over, all told effort that no Oilers fan wants to watch at this time of year. A time of year where Vancouver just stomped Calgary last night by all the marks. And obviously you're watching Vegas stay in the playoff chase. LA's sniffing around, right? Everybody's still right there with you. You've settled nothing if you're the Edmonton Oilers. And two wins this weekend, one against the Leafs, one against the Ottawa Senators, would have, and you can't live off of if, woulda, coulda, shouldas, but I'm saying, to be honest with you, if the Oilers would have found a way to find a win in both of these games, my goodness, friends, we're talking about clinching a playoff spot next weekend. I mean, still, we possibly could be if everything goes according to plan for the LA Kings and the Vegas Golden Knights losing the rest of this week, but still, it's just not a pretty situation all told for the Edmonton Oilers after a weekend out east in Ontario and you look at the Oilers now 42 22 and 4 so sure we got 88 points this season that's pretty good and considering we should be able to by the end of the season here clinch up next week right I think if the Oilers win their next few games clinch up uh, the, uh, the LA Kings have closed the gap to only three points they play tomorrow can close it to one but you look at the Oilers right now 68 games played there's plenty of season left but the Oilers are that nifty spot away from, right, the obviously uh, St. Louis Blues have played 71, and they're at 79 points. So you figure if the Oilers can get up to 92 points and the St. Louis Blues lo lose against Vegas, heaven forbid, well, suddenly it gets really interesting there, and you look at the cut lines here. Basically, you go down to Minnesota. Calgary's all but out of it at this point. So really, Minnesota, can they catch up to the Oilers at 88 points they've got 77 I don't know but the way the Oilers are playing doesn't give me much hope for when we get to game one of the playoffs and if the Oilers haven't learned the lesson so far this season about playing a full 60 minutes that doesn't give me much hope for game one where we haven't really figured out how to play anything in a game one over the past two years in five playoff series so friends that's uh that's where we're at right now the Oilers in a weird spot after two games in Ontario and I'm really not looking forward to uh, 
kind of the game against Winnipeg, just the way the Oilers have played this one. That said, the Oilers will probably respond very well, but probably a good game that I just don't stream, and the Oilers find a way to win a hockey game. I'm Tyson, this is Stolony TV. Thanks for being aboard. It's Rambly Scrambly, post-game edition, but hey, the Oilers are in trouble, and they got to find a way to turn this around here quick. I am up on Oda here.